Hello to all, Stefan here. So today we have a special guest, the Pretty Tech Panda Touch. I want to make it this quick because this will be a short video, an unboxing video and a setup video on the my, my Bamboo Lab P1S. Uh, well, after this video and more, let's say a follow-up video will come next days to see how it's performing and so on. But today we are making a uh, first preview of the Panda Touch from the Britty Tech. I just received this. I ordered two of them. Only one show up today after around three weeks of my order. But let, uh, let's uh, give it a look. I already opened the baggage to be sure that everything was fine inside and take it out the duck for the video. And here we have the screws for the mounting uh, plate. So this uh, is what uh, you will get when you receive your Panda Touch. On the back side we have the specification, the display size, resolution, viewing angle, display colors and so on. And how it will be mounted on a uh, Bamboo Lab P1P or P1S. So let's make this first and uh, let's take a look inside. So inside we have a small thank you card. Thank you for purchasing British Tech products. Nice. This is an uh, user manual, I think. Yes. Uh, on how to set up and so on. Also, you can see they have also the British Tech uh, duck here. And a small sticker from British Tech to stick it where uh, you want it. So let's take a look. This is the pad and here we have the accessories box. Here uh, we will find the stand that uh, will be glued down with this uh, adhesive to your P1B or P1S and the USB-C cable for uh, charging up and power the device. Let's put this here. Let's make some room here. Let's take out the panda touch. I don't think we will need the manual, but uh, we will see later. So uh, don't be don't be scared. Uh, the, this is fingers from uh, fingertips from me. Uh, on the screen we have a protector screen. And we can peel this off to have a nice uh, no scratch screen. On the back side, uh, also this is the magnetic stand. Let's say this will be mounted here with the screws included in the package, and uh, this will be put it on our printer. And uh, the, the main purpose of this one is also the let's see the second purpose of this it's uh, as a mounting plate with uh, magnets and also the uh, the powering and charger device as you can see on the back we have a PCB with an USB -C, uh, USB type C connector that uh, giving power uh, through this uh, pogo pins and I, I like this uh, approach of them and here we have the pad Sorry about the quality of the video, but uh, we are improving. On the back side, we can see the magnets. Another two holes, I think, for possible another mounting points. Also, here we have uh, another two holes for the screw. And here we have the plus and minus. This is uh, where the pogo pins charge the device and power on. Also, here we have the switch. Uh, right now in, I just uh, switched back to the off position, the battery and the DC 5 volts when the, you are using this on your printer. And also here we have an uh, I2C connector. This will give us in the future the possibility to mount in our printers and uh, thermometer and hygrometer sensor because the P1P and P1S doesn't have an uh, internal uh, sensor to know the chamber temperature, let's say, like the X1C. 
and also I think this uh, sensor will come also from Mobility Tech. So let's power the device. We will we'll power in the battery mode. Was the powering first? Uh, let's uh, connect it. Uh, this is the, the the first screen. You can see here the language and so on. And the, here we have our Wi-Fi networks. Just to know, this is uh, working on the 2.4 gigahertz network, like our printers from Bamboland. So let's uh, connect to our uh, home network. Yeah, very fast connection. Let's give it a next. And here we can. Uh, this is the screen where uh, where you set up your printer. We can manually set up the printer by entering here all this, or you can scan for new printers. And uh, you, this will scan your uh, 2.4 gigahertz for Bamboo Lab printers. Let's give it a scan. Right now I have here in this room, I have an uh, P1S and uh, an A1 Mini. <coughs> so, it should find two printers. And right away we have two printers. Now for this video I would only pair the P1S because uh, I want to make it fast and uh, to show you how it's performing. And in the next videos we can uh, pair uh, the second one and the A1 mini. So for the pairing and setup with the printer, we must select the printer. Here we have a message. Please confirm that you want to add this printer connection to the panda touch. We confirm that. And here we have some details: the name, the printer IP, the access code, the serial number, the model, filament color, filament material, and so on. Right now we must uh, enter the access code. I will enter off camera. The access code you will find uh, on uh, your uh, P1S uh, display on the Wi-Fi uh, tab. Okay, I just com confirm the access code and we are in. That's it, very fast connection. On the main uh, display, uh, we can see some information. Here we can control the lights, the Wi Fi networks, the temperature of the hot and the temperature of the heated bed. And here we will see in the future th the readings, the temperature, and the humidity from uh, this sensor that uh, we'll plug here. On the other side, uh, this is looking exactly like the screen from the X1C. We have uh, the home screen, we have another, uh, this is let's say setup screen, where uh, we can see the temperature and so on. We can set here the temperature, the hot uh, hand temperature, the hot bed temperature and so on, the speed, the speed of the cooling fans. We can home the printer and here you can set up your uh, filament. I have right now an uh, ESA filament, but also if you had an uh, EMS uh, system, you can set up really easy here because on the stock uh, screen of the P1P or P1S, you, you can do it that. Here we have the section with the files. Right now, I don't have any uh, files on my internal card, and here we have the USB flash drive files because also here. We have a port for uh, for USB drive if uh, we want to, let's say, print offline. You can uh, put your files on the USB, put here and uh, you can print uh, right away. And here is the settings tab, let's say, of the the pad. You have the device, it's a pen to touch for, from BT Tech, the language, firmware version. Also, after this video, I will check for a new firmware version. The auto sleep. I will set you five minutes. It's okay. A restart and the reset, uh, restore factory settings. And also here we have another tab with uh, our all our uh, Wi-Fi connections. Let's. Uh, ah, 
if you, uh, you have some notification and here you will see all your printers that it's uh, right uh, currently connected to the panda touch with the panda touch uh, from uh, what i understand from uh, big tech and also so in their videos you can hook up uh, up to 10 printers in the same time to the this touch and uh, you can set it like master slave sync or disconnected when you have more more of the printer will be here also we by any time we can add new printer scan the first one it's already added and we can add the second one and so on also in the last video of beauty tech they announced us that in the near future the next update there will be a big update of the firmware because also if let's say you have a if you have a printing farm and you have uh, more uh, x1c p1s and uh, a1 or a1 minis you can group them by the model of the printer and uh, you can send the files let's say you want to print uh, a benchy on all my x1c you want to print and cat on all my p1p and so on so this will be nice okay now i will uh, take the pad and uh, I will make some movements to see how it's performing on the, the printer. Let's put it back. Oh, very strong magnet. Let's take down the camera. And as you can see right now, let's make some movements. It works right away with no delay between the touch and the printer as you can see let's give it on home position it's working right away and this we can put it here you can put it here there are on maker wall some files you can put it over your uh, current display with a flip printed part or with the included stand you can uh, mount it right above your printer okay guys let's come back so i want to end it in this right now I just want to give you a preview of this uh, touch. Uh, also, I am in the Facebook group of the user touch of uh, Panda Touch, and uh, I see that uh, last day some uh, some of the guys received their uh, Panda touches with uh, problem on charging or uh, they cannot uh, power up the device on the battery or DC mode. I tested this, and uh, I want to show you right now. So, right now the touch is on. Let's uh, let's turn it off. It's as you can see it's off. I have it on USB-C cable from my laptop. Let's put it back uh, here. Okay, and now now we are we are trying to put the the switch in the DC voltage here we have the battery and here with the DC voltage and as you can see it's starting right away with no problem and uh, it's very fast connecting to the printer and let's take another let's uh, and let's see if uh, we disconnect from the magnetic plate if we will shut down yeah as expected <laughs> It's shutting down so I saved with no problem yeah, very fast uh, connecting to the printer let's uh, turn on the chamber temperature the chamber fan just waiting for the homing Finish it. 
I think you you can hear it. Also, we can turn on the auxiliary fan and the parkouring fan. And what I really like is it, uh, that it's uh, everything it's uh, instant control of the printer. So, so works very 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 nice. So guys, I'm Stefan. This is the Big Tech Panda Touch. This is not a sponsored video. I paid uh, for this with my money. I have a second one, second one on the way. And thanks for viewing this. Happy printing and this, please subscribe. It, hel it helps me a lot. And if you like this type of videos, I have a lot of content in the next uh, few weeks. And uh, if you like and want to support the channel, please uh, see the membership uh, uh, tab from uh, for my YouTube channel. Thank you and. Happy printing.